Hey, how's your day going today? Good? Fantastic. Not so good. Well, at least you weren't walking down the street and covered in volcanic ash and encased in it forever. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Here are the 10 worst environmental disasters in history. Number 10 is Hurricane Katrina. Hurricane Katrina, one of the worst natural disasters in recent history, started as a tropical storm over the Bahamas on August 24, 2005. In just a few days, Katrina got stronger and stronger and spread across the Gulf of Mexico. And by the 28th, the hurricane reached its peak as a Category 5 storm, with winds reaching up to 282 kilometers per hour. New Orleans water levees broke due to the force, causing flash flooding that put 80% of the city underwater. It's estimated that 15 million people were impacted by Katrina, whether they had to evacuate or lost their homes or worse. The total death toll was 1,833, with most of them being seniors, but 705 people are still considered missing. There was $81 billion in property damage, but the total economic impact was $108 billion, making Katrina the costliest hurricane to ever hit the United States. Number 9 is Pompeii. Pompeii was founded in either the 7th or 6th century BC. This ancient city is located near Naples, Italy and was built near the base of Mount Vesuvius, a massive volcano that's still active today. In August of 79 AD, Vesuvius erupted, spewing hundreds of tons of volcanic ash into the atmosphere and burying its 11,000 residents. Over time, the city was forgotten, but it was rediscovered in 1748 when the site was excavated it was discovered that the city and many of its inhabitants were nearly perfectly preserved. It's believed that the eruption happened on August 24th, just one day after Volcanalia, a festival to celebrate the Roman god of fire. Morbidly, most people would have suffocated to death from the ash, which would have fallen for nearly six hours. It covered the city in 12 layers of volcanic ash and rock, totaling 25 meters deep. Number 8 is the Boxing Day Tsunami. The Indian Ocean earthquake struck on December 26, 2004 off the coast of Indonesia. It only lasted 10 seconds, but it registered at a staggering 9.3 magnitude, making it the third largest earthquake ever recorded. The force caused the entire planet to vibrate and had the energy of 23,000 Hiroshima-sized atomic bombs. What made it so devastating was the tsunami that followed. The wave hit most coastal landmasses and bordered the Indian Ocean, reaching over 12,875 kilometers from its epicenter. Although some survivors reported seeing animals fleeing in the minutes before the tsunami hit, the lack of an emergency warning system meant that many people were caught off guard by the wrath of the waves, some of which were reported to be 30 meters high. The final death count was estimated to be 200,000 to 300,000 people. Number seven is the Bhopal gas tragedy. On December 2nd, 1984, Union Carbide India Limited, a pesticide plant in Bhopal, India, suffered a horrible disaster in which over 45 tons of poisonous gas was released into the air. Over 16,000 people lost their lives, some during the accident and many more in the months following it. Over 558,000 people suffered injuries such as blindness, organ failure, respiratory illnesses, and even neurological damage. And after Afterwards, children born in the area suffered birth defects and many were stillborn. The cause of the accident has never been verified, with many claiming poor valves and unsafe working environments, while others claim the plant was sabotaged. But regardless of how the toxins escaped the facility, the toll it took was unheard of, and it remains the worst industrial disaster of all time. Number six is the Bola Cyclone. 
On November 11th, 1970, the tropical Bola cyclone hit East Pakistan, now known as Bangladesh, before it struck West Bengal, India, on November 12th. Earlier in November, it had started as a tropical storm over the Pacific, before moving over the South China Sea and the Malay Peninsula. The storm had seemed to completely die down until the 10th, when it picked up speed and started to move north. Winds reached up to 185 kilometers per hour and caused massive flooding. It's no surprise that the devastation was vast. It destroyed 85% of homes in the region and entire villages were destroyed in the storm surges, costing $490 million in damages. It's estimated that over half a million people lost their lives to the Bola cyclone. As of today, it still remains the deadliest tropical cyclone in recorded history. Number five is the African drought. From 1981 to 1984, 20 nations across Africa saw a severe drought, leading to a devastating famine. The worst hit area was the Sahel region. The area has always been prone to drought, but recent studies blame its severity on factory operations in the Northern Hemisphere. In the 60s and 70s, factories in North America and Europe were burning coal, which released large amounts of aerosols and sulfur dioxide into the air. This this cooled the atmosphere and shifted rain patterns, meaning rain never reached the Sahel region. Scientists found that rainfall was reduced by up to 50% and rivers and lakes that were relied upon for cultivating farms completely dried up, causing crops to die out and livestock to starve. Entire families were left without any income and thousands without food, causing 20,000 deaths monthly. Number four is the storm of the century. The storm of the century struck on March 12, 1993. At its peak, it stretched all the way from Central America to Canada. It began in the Gulf of Mexico, but as it moved north, the extreme differences in temperatures caused it to intensify. Heavy thunderstorms first hit Texas, and high winds led to tornadoes in Florida. Its strength was the equivalent to a Category 3 hurricane, leading to its nickname, the Snowicane. Major cities like Washington, New York, and Philadelphia came to a complete standstill as the storm dumped over 1.5 meters of snow in some areas before it turned into sleet and high winds caused mountainous snowdrifts to form. By the time the storm passed on March 15th, over $6 billion in damages had accumulated, 10 million homes were without electrical power, and 318 people were killed. Number three is Chernobyl. On August 26, 1986, one of the reactors at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant went critical, exploding and sending more than 5% of the radioactive core's insides into the atmosphere. While only two people were killed in that explosion, more than 28 others lost their lives within a few weeks due to their exposure to radiation, followed by at least 19 others between 1987 and 2004. But that's not even counting those that lost their lives to cancers caused by the increase in radiation. Easily the worst nuclear power plant disaster in history, the meltdown occurred due to flaws in the reactor's design and a staff that were unqualified to operate it, let alone handle an issue of that magnitude. Over 116,000 people were evacuated from the region, and it's estimated that the area surrounding it won't be habitable for at least 20,000 years. Number two is the San Francisco earthquake and fire. On April 18, 1906, a 7.9 magnitude earthquake struck San Francisco, which at the time was one of the largest cities in the United States. The quake could be felt all the way from Los Angeles to Oregon and Nevada. Like a lot of other entries on this list, it's not necessarily the event itself that was so dangerous. It was the ripple effects that caused the greatest damage. The intensity of the quake caused gas and water mains to burst. The broken gas line 
turbines caused a huge fire that spread rapidly across the city, and because the water mains were broken, the fire department was helpless to put it out. The fires lasted four days and completely destroyed 500 city blocks. Damages were upwards of $8.2 billion in today's money, and nearly half the city's residents became homeless, with an estimated 3,000 killed. And number one is the Krakatoa Volcano. It all started on May 20th, 1883, when the volcano, located on an uninhabited island off the coast of Indonesia, began to spew ash. The volcano had been dormant for 200 years before it suddenly woke up with a bang. But the real damage happened on August 27th of that year, when there was a series of four colossal eruptions over five hours. They were so loud they could be heard in Australia nearly 5,000 kilometers kilometers away. 11 cubic meters of ash was spewed into the air and spread over 439 kilometers. Although no one lived on the island, 36,000 people still died because of a torrent of tsunami set off by the volcano. But the craziest thing that happened after Krakatoa erupted was that the island had almost entirely sank and disappeared into the ocean. So that was the 10 worst environmental disasters in history. And like I said, if you weren't having a good day, try putting yourself in these people's shoes because it could be a lot worse. But as always, if you enjoyed this, remember to give it a big thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the little bell beside the subscribe button so that you never miss a thing because I release new videos all the time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.